Thank you all for joining. Welcome to the SUMO community meeting Monday morning. Um, let's see. Previous action items. The only one listed on the Etherpad is for Jan and Rosanna, but Rosanna and Madalena are both out today, which is why I'm running this meeting. Um, they're on PTO because we had our meetup last week in San Francisco. So they are on the other side of jet lag today. Uh, so we'll hold this action item uh, until next week. Are there other action items people want to follow up on that are not in this list? Okay. Sumo development. Ricky, do you want to give us an update on Sprint 5 or any other things going on for you guys? Sure. Uh, I was going to just mention a few things we're working on. Um, okay. We landed the, the mobile Get Involved page. So I don't know if, uh, like last week or the week before, we landed the desktop version. And, and then, like, uh, late last week, we landed the mobile version to those. Oh, cool. awesome. I have not seen the mobile version. Uh, I didn't realize but, that was landed. Yeah, and then Brown had some changes or something. But we but at least I mean, we, we still need to work those in. But at least there is a version now. Um, Great. On mobile. And then we landed uh, on the search results page on mobile of a product picker which was missing so that if you're searching from your phone you can filter down by what product you are interested in great um, <clears throat> uh, another thing we added recently was rate limiting to try to work around the, the vote voting abuse that we've seen recently that landed for for the support forum, we haven't done it for the knowledge base yet. So hopefully we won't have these spikes of thousands of votes by people tricking the system uh, anymore. Okay. The support forum one landed? Yeah. Uh, or yeah, was, it yeah, it landed last week. Oh, because I was just looking at the KPI. So did you, if you look at the KPI dashboard, there's like this giant spike, but it's from a couple of weeks ago, from a month ago, three weeks ago. And then there's oh. two recent downward spikes, like actually right now to day. Um, yeah, but I don't know about the volume. I guess we'd have oh, to look at yeah, the Oh, yeah, we have to look at the volume, yeah. right? Yeah, let's see. Um, but yeah, it did. So so now we're protecting against that, but it didn't go back and clean out the old data. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, oh, this chart doesn't show the volume. Just at the bottom, I guess, really. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, is that the volume though? I'm not sure. But Sorry, uh, what are you guys talking about? What are you <laughs> discussing? <laughs> um, helpful <laughs> votes. Helpful votes in the forum. Oh, okay. Oh, so you were adding some improvements because there's been some abuse. Is that what you're describing, Ricky? Yeah, so we we added like rate limiting so that um, so that you can't go and vote like a thousand times in one day. I mean, awesome. it, it at least we try to detect it, so they could probably outsmart us. But uh, if they want to, I mean, yeah. Um, Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that um, other things we're working on are. Uh, oh, so we're we're changing the 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 KPI to twenty four hours on the support forum as well. That Madalena wants that um, that should land shortly, and we're adding um, helpfulness graph to the KB dashboard only for like English helpfulness um, and a few other localization dashboard bugs that we're trying to fix, among other things that could be listed there. But yeah, that's pretty much high level what we're working on. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Awesome. That is a lot of stuff. I just saw this. Super awesome. Love it. Looks really nice. That's the mobile Get Involved page with Rosanna's Kate Butler. <laughs> Looks so great. Thanks for all your hard work. Anyone have questions for Sumo Dev? Um, if you will stay on the line, Ricky, there, it looks like there's something in Roundtable, the first item in Roundtable from Andrew. If he's on the call, um, might have a question for you. 
it's, yeah, I saw that bug, but I, I think there's might be a misunderstanding there. But yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Okay. Um, do that right you, now. So you know about this one, the AOA grabbing tweets? I think I saw that in the forum or something. But um. Yep, it looks like he did post it to the forum. So I, 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 the thing is, um, our percentage has nothing to do with the number of tweets that come in. We just have a goal of 175 tweets. And once you hit that, it's 100%. Um, so it, I don't see how deleting tweets changes anything. Oh, OK. And you already posted that back to but the I, I, I haven't forum. replied yet. No, I haven't replied. Oh, OK. <laughs> Uh, that makes sense. Well, if you want to pop it in the Etherpad, I can reply on that thread if you prefer or whatever. But that makes sense. It's not really okay. impacting our percentage, which is the what the concern is from Andrew. Okay, thanks. Now you're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, thanks for all your hard work on the Sumo platform. Always appreciated. <clears throat> um, I'm particularly interested in this images on desktop for articles that don't show up on mobile. Um, yes, uh, I think we know what it is, but uh, we, uh, we should fix it today. It's a weird one, you yeah. know? It's like yeah. sometimes you'll have images at the top of the article, and then at the bottom, they disappear. It's like a phantom thing. So yeah, and it depends on the article and which images show up. And usually, you're right, it's the first image that shows up, and the second one doesn't or something. Yeah, it's super weird. So thanks for figuring that yeah. out. Okay, cool. Um, so Firefox desktop, Matt G, you're typing furiously. Do you need a moment or? Nope, or... we're good. Okay, go for it. So big things for Firefox desktop. Uh, last week we pushed some new click to play blocks for older versions of Flash. Um, we've been monitoring the feedback and everything looks pretty good so far. Um, not a lot of complaints, but I think the most encouraging thing is that we're actually seeing the numbers of users on older versions of Flash going down pretty significantly. So that means people are seeing the, the click to play block and they're actually updating rather than just clicking through it. So that is what we've been hoping all this time people were going to do, not just ignoring it. So, um, you know, good stuff there. Um, next thing is uh, next week, Firefox 20 lands, and the big changes are the per window private browsing and the updated download manager. Um, the main thing that we're seeing is some confusion around the private browsing. So the location of private browsing has changed. Um, so now it is in, uh, let me find it. Well, it's in the file menu. So it's, yeah, it's, now it's in menus. the file menu. So the, uh, so the location has moved. So a lot of people in feedback um, think that we've removed the feature. We definitely have not. Um, so just be aware of that. People will probably be coming to the forums um, thinking we've yanked out private browsing. We haven't. The location has just changed. But we're working with uh, marketing and press to see if we can get some education out there, uh, maybe get something on the What's New page to let people know that it's still there. All right, and I assume you're, you'll put a thread in the contributor uh, discussion about all the things that might be confusing about 20. Will Sounds be. like just one thing. <laughs> awesome. OK, Roland, do you want to give an Android update? Yeah, uh, Firefox Android 20 will be released next Tuesday, April 2nd, along with desktop. And we also have private browsing per tab as opposed to per window, and RMB6 384 megabytes of RAM and other features. It'd be great if people could try it out now in case we miss something to document or in case we miss something for bug fixing. Um, the technical writing program continues to roll along. Thank you to Rosanna and Michael for both leading and kickstarting this. We have a lot of great articles in 20 and 19 because of it. And uh, yeah, I will not talk anymore about that because I'll let Michael speak about it. Maybe at the KB meeting. Maybe today. <laughs> cool. That's Private it. browsing on mobile. Oh. That's exciting. Oh, and Thunderbird. I will slip my Thunderbird article update in here. Uh, okay. We will. I will. Well, Jen is sick, so um, I will approve the Thunderbird articles in the review queue this week, of which there are at least five or six. Uh, sorry about that. If anybody from Thunderbird is actually listening to this. All right. Anybody who uses Thunderbird? No. Yes. 
No, you're talking about. Computers. I use it every day. I couldn't live without it because <laughs> you refuse to stop using email. Don't email. Just IRC me or, you know, I need it back. Uh, awesome. Okay. Thanks for that um, update. Thanks to all the, uh, to the tech writing program, everybody who's been working on 20. Everyone who's contributed to 20. Are there any questions on desktop or Android or the version coming out this week? Anything in IRC? No. Okay. Firefox OS. Well, um, so we had our team meetup last week and we talked about a lot about Firefox OS and what we need to do this quarter is going to be a big quarter for, you know, finalizing a lot of our preparations, everything that we've been doing for Firefox OS up until this point. And so we also worked on Q2 goals um, for all of Sumo and the theme is uh, Firefox OS. And so I just wanted to mention those will be coming out um, as soon as we sort of lock them down. Um, but that's that was a lot of what we did around Firefox OS last week was getting everyone on the same page and figuring out exactly what we need to do um, in the final push here. I'm also starting to get some information about marketing plans coming together that contributors can get involved in in our launch countries in Colombia, Venezuela, and Brazil. Um, uh, they can. We met with William Reynolds about the Help app and how mobilizers in those countries can help by teaching how to, people about the Help app. Um, and they can also participate in new beta programs that we're going to have and um, help by learning the phone basics and then um, becoming a mobilizer who will teach users those basics once the phones are launched. So there's some great ways contributors can get involved. And um, if you are in one of these countries or you know people who are and um, you want to be involved in it, let us know and we will get you signed up for these efforts. Um, let's see, Ralph, do you want to give an update on what you're up to this week for Firefox OS? You don't have to type it in, but um, just give us a verbal. Yeah, so this week I'll be going to, uh, to Lima, Peru. Uh, actually, I'm leaving Wednesday very early in the morning. Uh, so, and then uh, after this, after this trip, I'll be going to to Brazil, and I'll be part of what I'll be doing is uh, getting getting contacts or trying to talk to people about the beta program. Uh, so I also try to get to some information from from Chang or and from the advocacy team as to what types of users to get information from, what type of users we're looking for, and how to how to get it filtered out. And this week will be just a three-day meetup for all of Mozilla Hispano, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you'll be there talking to contributors um, and talking to our Mozilla Hispano reps about Firefox OS uh, launch activities and localization of help articles. Mm -hmm. So thanks for doing that. Thanks for traveling so far and wide again um, to meet up with everyone about Firefox OS. Look forward to hearing your reports. Any questions about Firefox OS? Okay. Uh, Roland, you gave your Thunderbird update. Stop using email. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Metrics dashboard. Let's see. Kadir is on jet lag leave today. Um, but I think um, Ricky gave the update that we were thinking of moving to 24 hour um, for the forum. 24 hour SLA, which is what we call it, but service level. So basically, instead of tracking 72 hours of forum posts and, and our reaction times will go down to 24. 
And that was another super exciting part of our meetup was we had a forum, longtime forum contributor, um, Jay Schur. Uh I think there's Jay Schur 2000 uh, Jefferson. He joined our work week and we spent like a whole day talking about the forum and how he uses the forum, Ricky, and we saw a bunch of customizations that he does, a script that he has um, to customize the forum view. He's a quote unquote, I think he would be okay with me sharing the fact he's a forum addict. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. He loves work on the forum. Um, he's very interested in it. He's been contributing a long time. So we've talked to him a lot about the strategies that he uses for working with people on the forum and how he learned to communicate with people who are, you know, they're in trouble, they have a problem, they're stressed, and how to sort of get them to a solution in the best possible way on our sort of crowdsourced forum. So we learned a lot from him, and I'm sure Madalena will have a report out about all the notes that we took, um, but a huge, huge shout out to Jefferson and uh, thanks to him for joining us last week. Um, it looks like the forum is in good shape. Uh, questions are just starting to taper off from <laughs> from 19, so it looks like we need to have a, another release <laughs> with with some menu items. Maybe we could move some menu items. Important ones that would be good. Then we'll get. To <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, helpful votes looks pretty um, static, but I, I guess based on what Ricky said, we'll, we should expect to see a little bit of change there, and also a new graph coming for English. Um, contributors looks relatively stable. Um, we would love to see help article KB contributors um, going back up to that like 45 level we had last month. Uh, let's see. Search click through rate. Does anyone have commentary on search click through rate? It looks pretty static. There's not new work being done on this. And Elton and coverage. Super static. Thanks for everyone uh, working on localizing content for Sumo. Uh, that's our bread and butter. Without that, we are nothing. Community updates. Does anyone have a, any shout outs for community members who are working hard keeping the lights on while we were all sequestered in meetup last week? <laughs> Thanks to everyone for doing that, um, for all that you do while we are in millions of meetings. Uh, no Elton and updates this week since Rosanna is out. But again, um, we are, you know, doing a lot of uh, planning and work for Spanish, in particular for Firefox OS. Um, so we'll have more on that next week. Knowledge base, Michael, you want to give the t updates? Yep. Um, the tech writing program is going to start again this week, working on Firefox 21. So even though Firefox 20 hasn't come out yet, it's time to start getting the documentation for Firefox 21 ready. Um, and uh, last week at the knowledge base meeting, I was off, but Kadir made a little presentation about uh, work that we'll be doing over the next few months with topics and subtopics. Um, and so last week uh, on Friday, uh, we recorded a video about it and I, I uploaded the video this morning, but I'll, I'll make a blog post about it. But the, the basic idea, Kadir, Ricky, Ebi, these guys all got together um, two weeks ago or three weeks ago and um, looked at our information architecture. So we had, um, let's see if I can explain this real quickly. So there was a, we, when we implemented our, our new information architecture, we did it a little bit different than, than the original recommendation. And that's where we came up with this refine and focus feature. 
and we found that that wasn't people weren't really using it uh, the way we had hoped. So we looked into uh, uh, into that, and we and they discovered that um, uh, we should go back to the original recommendation, but we're we are only going to use the product navigation. Like everyone starts off, they already are have identified they're using Firefox or Firefox for Android. Um, so we need to make topics and subtopics and we can redesign the pages that people land on and get people to articles easier, faster, that whole thing. There's a little video about it and a presentation that you can read. Um, so that work is coming up over the next few months. I guess that's about it. Cool. Subtopics. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be awesome. I'm very excited about subtopics. Um, watch the video. OK, support forum. Um, oh, I gave a little update on that. I'll put the notes um, in the section later on, unless someone else has a forum update while Madeline is not here. OK. I mean, I think I know that we are finalizing the non-English forum. There are a couple little things that still need to be done for the Portuguese uh, support forum, but uh, it seems to be working. And so I thank you guys for your hard work on that. It's a totally new thing that we've never done before, so it's very cool. Uh, let's see. Decisions and action items. Well, there probably should be some report outs um, from our meetup uh, last week. And then um, from the Mozilla Hispano meetup this week. What was and, that um, and Brazil next week. So that's what we should make sure we do. Are there other things? action items oh ricky's going to post something to that contributor thread about the aoa i already did oh done yay <laughs> thank you and we're going to post some stuff um about firefox 20 post to the forum let people know what to look out for in case they're not watching this meeting or listening in on this meeting or they never see this etherpad right for desktop and android what else must we do this week All right, if there's nothing else and there's no one else who wants to join in and nothing in IRC, um, I think we should take our 34 minutes and enjoy them. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks everyone. Happy Bye. Monday. Happy, Bye. Happy week. Happy week. Bye.